I moved to Palm Springs in 2004 uh, from the New York City area, where I was a news correspondent for ABC Radio for 40 years plus. Decided uh, I love Palm Springs, I've been visiting here and uh, for a number of years and decided this is where I wanted to make my retirement home. So here I am at Revivals on my first day in 2006. I'm folding clothes and about an hour later, Barry came to me and said, hey, just read your uh, resume. You're a government licensed radio broadcast technician. You have an extensive background in electronics in addition to your broadcast career. We have a problem with all the electronic stuff donated to us, TV sets, radios, VCRs, DVD players. And uh, we don't know if this stuff works or not. We have no way of testing it. Do you be able to set up some sort of facility for us to test this stuff and weed out the good stuff from the bad stuff so we, we're not putting bad stuff out for, uh, for the sales? And I said, yeah, it sounds like a challenge. So I started what has turned into a, <laughs> a monstrous operation. We started checking everything that came in and eventually we expanded it to check the electronics that come in at the other two stores in Cathedral City and, and uh, Palm uh, Desert as well. The good stuff, we clean up, we tune up. Uh, uh, if a minor repair is needed, we'll fix it up. And we put it out for, we price it, put it out for sale. Uh, about five years ago, Bob joined me. Uh, so we are now known as the Electronic Bobs of the Revival store, Bob and Bob. I work here at Revival's in the warehouse processing electronics for all of the stores throughout the Valley. So we get an incredible amount of remarkable donations from the generous folks that support Revival's. All of it's processed and tested here. Before it goes on the floor, you know it has been proven to work. We guarantee it. It's the only resale uh, store anywhere in the Valley and I believe Southern California that actually can put electronics out that you know you can go home and enjoy that night without a problem. If, uh, if you're thinking about throwing it away or donating it, we can always throw away any component that doesn't work. But many times, even if it's broken, we can restore it, we can repair it, and someone else can purchase it. And those dollars contribute to so many services from housing, to uh, assistance to underrepresented or underserved communities throughout the valley, health services, and education. And so when you go into those stores, remember that when well, you're not just getting something nice for yourself, you're doing something nice for everyone else. The two of us devoted an awful lot of time to Revivals and the Desert AIDS Project. We had more than, what, 200 volunteers working uh, with the, all aspects of the Desert AIDS Project. How many here in the Revival stores, all three of them, I don't know, but we work with some of the nicest people you'd ever want to encounter. They believe, like we do, as we do, that the mission of the Desert AIDS Project is something worthwhile, something worth sustaining, something worth expanding and making it better for everybody whose lives it touches.